Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another week of This Can't Be Real. This week I'm going to be taking a look at Democracy 3, the world's most advanced political simulator. And I mean, in October it is the time when politics are heating up, I, I don't know, I mean, it's 2013, so um, there's no US election, and there's no uh, Canadian election, and if you guys don't know, I'm Canadian, uh, well, if you guys don't know, I'm Canadian, and if you guys don't know, maybe you don't know what This Can't Be Real is, This Can't Be Real is a weekly series where I do uh, seven episode long first impressions, blind playthrough of a game, I mean, it's kind of hard to explain, uh, what it essentially is, is it's a blind playthrough of a game, like a but it's only seven episodes long, um, so a week, and I give my first impressions on a game. So it's kind of like a mix between a first impressions and a let's play. Um, so there you go, and it lasts a whole week. So the game changes every week. This week it's Democracy 3, so if you guys are looking for high-level play, unfortunately, I've never played it before. This is my very first time ever. And uh, so you can probably expect it's not going to be the greatest thing ever. Uh, we are going to start off on a new game, I'm guessing. And we get to pick from, oh wow, Canada's on this list. That is absolutely fantastic. Um, so we've got the United Kingdom, we've got France, we've got Germany, we've got the US, Canada, which is what I'm going to pick because I feel that, uh, and Australia, I feel that uh, perhaps um, the, the fact that, uh, well, <laughs> this game... Uh, I feel that perhaps the fact that I don't know, uh, don't understand the game at all, maybe picking Canada is going to help me because at least I am going to understand maybe a little bit about the politics, uh, which could which could help. Jeez, um, okay, Big Mac Index three thirty two, and um, this one Canada four sixty three. Wow, wow, wow. Jeez, Big Macs are expensive. Perhaps four point two. No Big Mac Index here. Uh, but there you go, so, uh, I can't help but see things like beef consumption and maple syrup consumption, moose population. It's not too much, hopefully we can raise the moose population, maybe something we're gonna do. Uh, so I'm gonna pick Canada, you know, can't help but feel that there are some omissions here. Uh, but the game is probably available in three languages, German, English, and uh, French. Um, maybe, so, if it's available in those three languages, and that probably explains why the countries that have been chosen are the ones that have been chosen. So, here you go, we are going to be choosing Canada, let's go and hit that play button. Oh boy, um, term length, I really wish, I mean, I don't know, um, I, I mean, I could go realistic and go for five, which is what I guess I am gonna do. Um, I, I don't, I, you know, I don't know... Party player, okay. Player's party name. Um, I mean, okay. What are we gonna do? We, I mean, we can be uh, the Liberal Party, the Conservatives, or the NDP. Um, which, uh, what? They're not here. Um, the NDP's not on here. Okay. Uh, the, uh, the. Pfft. Uh, yeah, okay, so I guess we're just going to be, uh, we're going to be, uh, not the Liberal Democrats, we're going to be the Liberal Party, um, can I, I can't scroll down, no, not the Liberal, okay, where is the, the Liberal Party, and, uh, we're going to, uh, I mean, are we, are we going to choose that, or am I going to have, uh, no political affiliation here? Um, I mean, I'm not going to put my own political affi affiliation, uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go, um, we're going to, we're going to choose, we're going to not choose the Liberal Party, because I don't really want to put my own, uh, because, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to have, like, you know, I don't want to choose something real, we're going to choose uh, something, the Green Party, um, the Reform Party, I don't really, I, I don't know the Reform Party's politics at all, at all, the, the Liberal Front, um, I mean, let's pick, I mean, here, let's just pick the Green Party, because I feel like, I feel like th their agenda is perhaps, um, well, I mean, I don't really understand, I don't really know, uh, their agenda more than, uh, it's about saving the environment. So, I think that's the front I'm gonna, I'm gonna run on, because it's, it's gonna be a little bit more simple for me to actually play this game, um, having to just think in my head, uh, it's all about the environment. So, I mean, that means, that means I don't have any sort of, uh, things to do, I mean, I don't have to confront any uh, difficult political choices. I can just pretty much ignore them. An opposition party, well, we're going to choose the conservatives because that's what's in power right now. We're going to try and overthrow uh, Steve and his conservatives, um, which might date the video if you're watching it far in the future. 
But uh, hey, just look at the date it was posted on, and then there you go. Uh, no limit, uh, hurricanes, earthquake, compulsory voting. Uh, I, I guess difficulty. I mean, sure. We're just gonna choose. We're gonna choose. We're gonna keep that green party just because I don't want to choose liberals and have to like make choices based on my own political biases or whatever. I don't want to choose conservatives for myself for the exact same reason. Uh, I chose the real party for the opposition because it's the party that's currently in power, so I feel like it'll, you know, make it seem more realistic. I'm trying to overthrow them and the Green Party because um, I don't really understand too much about them, but it's easier for me because in my mind the, the sort of agenda is a simple one. So, like, when it comes to the economy and, and religious uh, things, uh, I feel that if it doesn't impact uh, the um, if it doesn't impact the environment, I will take a very uh, free stance, and if it if it doesn't impact the environment, I will take a very strict stance to try and promote uh, to try and promote the, the government. Click to return to government. Ah, okay, there you go. So we are going to jump right into this. Welcome to Democracy 3. You just started your first term as Prime Minister. And as your Chief of Staff, I'm here to explain how things work. Uh, the icons below show uh, your few key indicators of the state of the country. Education, GDP, unemployment, crime, and poverty. Okay. I'm here to explain uh, the icons below. Hopefully you will change things for the better and get re-elected after your term is up. Press the button in the window below. Uh, okay, so um, to start uh, governing. Okay, sure. Quit tutorial. Whoa, whoa, wow. Um, uh, the window has these weird black bars at the top and bottom, which seems a bit strange to me, but uh, okay. So uh, we've got our, our GDP. Oh, wow, wow, we wow. Okay, um, so health is pretty low. Education is high. Poverty is... Um, do we, we want poverty to be low, I'm guessing. Um, uh, oh my god. Wow, I can actually click on, like, everything. State of health. Oh, whoa, okay. This is going to be, uh, this is going to be, uh, quite an in-depth simulator here. So, okay, congratulations on your election victory. So, we win the election is the first thing. And, um, what I want to do is, as the Green Party, um, from what I can see here... Uh, we're not really concerned on GDP or unemployment or crime or poverty, but health, um, I would say out of these ones, health would be one that we would want to change. And um, pollution, as you can see, actually, for, for, for the best part, actually uh, causes us uh, causes a big impact on that. So uh, health, environmentalist me, okay, great. The environment, is there anything I can do? Uh, clean energy subsidies, car usage, air travel, and GDP. Well, we've got to raise our GDP, but car usage, is there any way to, um, okay, causes effects? All right, so, um, effects, petrol tax, okay, there you go, income. Uh, well, maybe we could, uh, raise a petrol tax, and I think that that would probably, uh, have some sort of a change. So, I think if I, if I raise that car usage... Uh, our car usage, we want to make that go down, but environmentals, we want to make that go up. So I think we want to make sort of a 20%, uh, a 20% petrol tax, or, or perhaps, um, yeah, I think, I think getting, uh, getting that up, you know, 30%, yeah, so it's 30% petrol tax, and I think that's going to, uh, do that. And it's only really lowering, uh, car usage, GDP hasn't really done anything, motorist income, motorist membership, that's fine with me, we're not really, uh, in fact, uh, you know, in fact, you know, we're so much not looking... Um, here you go. We're gonna make it so that the, 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 the GDP change stays sort of imperceptible. So I think we want to then make it, uh, just, just like, f there you go, 43, and that's just where the nub just first comes out, and f so I'm gonna just check, here, okay, like that, and like that, and 45, yeah, 45, so it's a very low, uh, thing on GDP, but it's, uh, but it's effects that this, uh, this environmentalist law, this, this petrol tax has, is not in anything we're concerned about, I don't really care about having more uh, motor, uh, motorers, uh, or having a higher GDP, I'm, I care about the environment, so we're gonna apply the changes, insufficient political capital, what, um, raises, um, okay, what, Hmm, what, what do you mean insufficient political capital? Apply changes. Candidate ch change been reverted. Uh, you will earn more political capital from your minister at the start of the next turn. Oh, okay, so I probably need, uh, cost. Oh, uh, okay, so I need to actually, uh, do that. Uh, plus 26 raises, lowers, um, I, I guess, uh, we're gonna just click X. Yeah, okay, I get it. X, all right. So we're going to, I guess, begin the term in office. Then I guess we're going to make those changes. Oh, fuck me. Okay, so that's something. Um, 
yeah, this is this is looking crazy then. In that case, a next, I believe, would be probably a next turn button. So what is this? This is shows your level of political capital I can spend. So plus 26. So I've got 26 on me right now. And um, I can see the things that are bad. Um, socialist, retired capitalist, or religious, environmentalist, popularity. Okay, so I want to make myself more popular. Uh, that's for sure. Now, what was I doing right now? I was going, uh, I think, no, that was, that's, that's crime. I was looking for, I believe it was in vehicles. Um, yeah, vehicles. And then I wanted to go to petrol tax. Great. And what I want to do is raises lower okay raise oh raise is going to take 36 so i don't have enough to raise it so we're going to click x uh yeah i know insufficient political capital okay i don't really have enough right now so oh yeah we can see what the what the affiliations have so if i click on that i can see that that actually does a, a lot of things so uh right now I, i'm going to click next because i just want more political capital um there you go, uh, egalitarian miracle, oh my god, look at that, we've actually, uh, we actually got something. Um, we're, uh, okay, it looks like, uh, okay, under your leadership, we feel equal with our fellow man, woman, that's the most important thing, I actually, uh, agree, that is important, that, uh, th there is, um, equality, okay, quit tutorial, there you go, very nice, okay, so that's, these are sort of issues, uh, crime has gotten a lot better, education, um, and nothing really to worry about on, on the big one. So now I think we've got 52, so we can actually make some of the changes we want. We're going to put in a petrol tax, and we're going to put in a petrol tax of, um, I think we want to have 45%. So that sounds good. Let's apply those changes. Absolutely. Okay, great. So now uh, that we've got that, we also want to do other environmental impacts without, uh, okay, environmentalist. Well, what have we got here? Um, Clean energy subsidies. We could do that. Uh, raise, um, raise lower. Okay. Um, so that would be. This would be okay. So that would raise the environment. Uh, capitalists would make them bad. CO2 emissions. They would drop. Um, capitalist. Uh, we okay. We don't actually care that that would lower capitalists. So we might as well have those a maximum because they don't actually seem to affect any uh other things in major ways it would it raise the make the environment better it'd make me less of a capitalist sure uh but it lower our co2 emissions and make the environment and energy efficiency better so i mean uh, cost oh hold on that would actually cost us quite a bit but it's okay we, we just put in petrol taxes which so we are without so those two things actually offset each other um, cost effects, implement time, share popularity with voters, 41. There you go, let's apply. Okay, great. Now we are cooking with peanut oil. But I'm going to actually say that I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And as always, uh, tomorrow you guys can come see more, another episode of this, where I, who knows what the hell I'm going to do. So I hope you guys have enjoyed, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody, get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh, yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh, yeah. Have a good one.